Before we get into it, if you haven't checked out the randomizer mod itself, the settings we have, just so you know, you're like, oh, keep watching, but I don't know what's actually randomized. The settings we have turned on are randomized bodies, so the NPCs are all going to look different. The voice lines are randomized as well, which is pretty obvious if you listen for a second. Randomized music, the player model, earth, moon, and sun size. All items are randomized. Except for key quest items like the psych scope, that's always in its typical spot, and the coral scan chipset, but everything else is random, um, which we'll talk a little bit about. All the props, so chairs, tables, cabinets, that, that sort of thing are randomized. All the enemies are. Uh, the operators as well. The station connectivity, so the map is completely different every time, which is awesome. The Neuromod skill tree is completely randomized within its own little skill tree. Uh, the fabrication plan cost. Recyclers are either turned on or they're broken. Operator dispensers are randomized as well. Then anything that can be breakable or hacked are randomized, whether it's already opened or not. We also start on the second day so we don't go through the whole helicopter scene. We skip the Joven cutscene, which is the the guy that dies to the mimic at the start, and then uh, all the Typhon scans are unlocked by default, so we don't have to scan the Typhons to gain access to the, the skill tree, just to make things a little bit nicer. So that's what we got. Also, we have all of the key cards being randomized. I guess it isn't in this list. It's turned on, right? Yeah. Okay. It's just not in. The output. Interesting. I'll have to write that down. A little feedback. Play on normal just because I'm too lazy to change it every time. The male female doesn't matter. Doesn't change a thing. To get to get through a randomizer mod, there are a few things that we have to do every time. We need to turn on the reactor. Good morning, we need to grab morning. the psychoscope. Today is Monday, March 15th. Scan the coral. Uh, deal with Dahl and Casper. Then we need to use the null wave device on the thing and psychotronics, whatever it's called. And then we have to find the bridge. Getting to that is the challenge, but those are the steps that we have to take to beat the seed. So all this stuff is randomized. For now we have a Neuromod, we can check our tree. We're looking for hacking one and four, which is pretty cheap altogether. 15 Neuromods in total. Now we're just checking some things that might be useful. Oh, hacking one is so expensive. All right, we'll buy mobility too when I get another Nero mod. Um, really, the only things you need to worry about in terms of Nero mods is hacking one and four, because terminals being locked along the way. Everything else is just kind of nice to have if you can get it. But because everything's randomized and you can't count on getting a ton of Nero mods, you want to make sure you get. A big good stuff. They are NCNI block box operators. Oh, also that wrench is not randomized, so you can actually get out of I have no the doubt glass there. Remember your sacrifice. It's another key quest item that's not shuffled around. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. Ooh, a glue gun. Right off of a rippy dippy. The glue gun solves a lot of problems you might run into get you access to a lot of areas that are otherwise really annoying to get to. So that's really cool to see. Reactor access. So that's not a required key card, but that is uh, kind of cool to get, I guess. You can completely skip getting that one.
There's really four key cards that we're looking out for. We're gonna have to get access to. She hid her condition to work aboard Talos One. When you found out, she should have been sent back to Earth. Sorry, Morgan. Um, Alex cut us off from the looking glass. Probably could have killed that Typhon or that Phantom. The lobby. The way the loot in this is randomized is not every single piece is completely different when you look in a body. It's all based on loot tables, so like the main game is. It's the table itself that's randomized. So every mimic's going to share the same table in this, but what's on that table is randomized. Okay. Also spawn there. That's fine. So if you kill a mimic and it has a neuromod on its body, you kill another mimic, you're more than likely going to get a neuromod. Uh, because it's on that same drop table. It's like right there, I saw a neuromod in a trash can. So now if I'm looking for neuromods, I want to check every trash can I can find. General access, that is the biggest key card in the game. That access gets me back into the neuromod division, which is not important in this. Uh, unless Casper's there later. But it gets us access to where Psychotronics usually is. And coolant chamber. Oh my sure god, this is a fucking spicy meatball. Uh, that's gonna get me to reactor. You guys are a real pain in the ass. Okay, we have two fabric. Oh, there's this guy too. Oh yeah, this is absolutely gonna fall apart. So a lot of my routing, because I've done, I've completed like 20 of these seeds now. So I'm just kind of checking different Consider loot tables Alex's plan, off the start if it works, to see what's in them. And once I've determined what's in each loot right table, I can kind of ignore some stuff. Away. Just pulling out my inventory, really. Hardware Labs, uh, okay. Hardware Labs is not a required area, but there's still a couple key cards we're looking for. So we got Coolant Chamber and General Access, shit. That's so good. Hardware Labs also has a ton of loot. Just tons and tons and tons. is waving around. Uh, how do I want to play this? I don't, I don't really have a good source of damage in this seed at the moment. Which kind of makes things annoying here. Shotgun with six shots. I got Frosty over here. What's he got? That is a pistol. Not at the point where I have a lot of heals. Because neuromods are usually saved for uh, hacking and then a couple other things. It's almost never going to happen where I buy a uh, weapon or a gunsmith upgrade. So I just put on everything. It's not going to matter. Combat. It's good to have a source of damage, but it's not super vital.
Griffin have already demonstrated an ability. There's also like 11 codes in the game that are the same, like that one. I can check my safes. Okay, now new black boxes have neuromods in them. I don't know what that was. Yes, the keycard locations are the same. It's just what keycard is there is going to be different. Where did something like that even come from? And right now, because the keycard randomizer is so new, um, it's set up, or it should be set up, that the required keycards that we need aren't locked behind certain things. So a keycard that we need is never going to be locked behind another keycard at the moment. So there's some spawns where I just don't have to check because I know it can't be there. Like, I don't need to check the safe in Calvino's lab because that's locked behind a keycard in itself. That'll probably change in the future. But for now, it's fine. Uh, that chipset is nice to have if you have propulsion, which you craft in this area, but I'm just not going to because it takes time and you don't really need it. If you ever see me sliding, uh, it's to save stamina. The little white bar is your stamina, and if you're sliding or jumping, you don't lose stamina, but if you jump, you kind of lose speed. Where sliding, you don't. Okay, we checked. We checked hardware labs, okay. I have a little uh, cheat sheet open up with all the key cards on it. So I can mark off the ones I've gotten. Woo! Also, you don't take fall damage if you grab onto uh, something as you're falling. This is so nice. Crew quarters. Oh, my. Okay. Well, we're getting these things out of the way. Crew quarters is a really awful place to be. But it has four key cards in it, so... So we're still looking for some key cards. We need to go in here and check. This is just a really dangerous area. There's always going to be a telepath that spawns. Can get me. Can you? Uh, Ill tanks. And there's just tons of other enemies. Well, everything's randomized. Uh, there's a few exceptions, but there's still like a weighted system for stuff. Regulator curse. Poltergeist and Nightmares are going to have a 3% chance to spawn, where something like a Mimic or a Phantom is going to be a much higher chance. That's kind of how the game does it. No! Please, no! Oh, security key. Dumped off so much more stuff. Hi, Dios. I feel like recycling. Just drop it. All right. He's dead. And again, help people come to kitchen, see what they have, kill them. Fuel storage. Hey, okay. It's a good thing we came in here. That is another of the required, potentially required, um, cards. Really, the only one that's hard required every time is gonna be uh, coolant chamber. There's no other way around it. The other three potentially, depending on how the ship's laid out. So we got fuel storage. Now there can be duplicates of keys. 
So there might be like another fuel storage key out there. Um, but the game spawns one of each. And then it fills the rest of the spots up with just a duplicate of its own choosing. Okay, well, Lobby is kind of dead, which is really interesting. There are like five sections of the game that only have one entrance. One entrance, one exit. Uh, Neuromod Division, the starting area being one. Crew Quarters being another, and Hardware Labs being a third. So we basically never need to come back to Lobby. <clears throat> Unless Casper is one in one of those areas. Straight to Arboretum, too. Okay. An interesting layout. Arboretum is the most important area in the game. Lobby is a close second. We'd like to remind all Transtar personnel to please be respectful of the privacy of our special guests. This will ensure their stay aboard our facility. Arboretum is important because it has a lot possible. of... Your quest you. progression, Warning. it has five imminent. things it connects to. Um, and it's like a ton of loot. In this, no. But at least the way I play these seeds, it does not. I mean, technically you could do that. You can do any of the endings if you desire, but... I just always have the goal of the Nullifier quest being the one. I think it'd be interesting if it did push towards like Dahl's ending for getting off the ship or uh, destroying stuff, but those are almost always slower and are the exact same quest. They just take longer. Oh, critical! There, I have support. Right there, okay. Saving the day once again. So this door is normally locked behind doing you stuff in crew quarters. I see the sheet music in my head. Um, I feel like I've been so potentially we have seven. to do the crew quarters Best quest and go back there and do a lot of fun we stuff. Have made it without you. But if Are we you find kidding? deep storage I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never and do that, time. it'll unlock yes, that door anyways. Yes, chief. Sorry, chief. Like, it doesn't matter, though. The power's down life here. support. The class 4 power circuit, the blast and fuel storage. That's bridge. Connected. So bridge is the end of the game, but it has three key cards, so we, we gotta go check. No, this is actually vanilla spawned. Right there, saving the day once again. It's... Please contact Morgan Yu. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? Now, let's get you to the... Uh, the lobby. crew quarters quest... Or the crew quarters key is going to be pretty important to find, I imagine, at this point. Most of your connections are coming off of Lobby, Arboretum, and Guts. Uh, we kind of need access to all of the... Hey, crew quarters. There we go. That's our like last required key card that we need. So we got these pretty quick. Woo! That means I don't need to look for any more key cards. We are done looking for key cards. Sixteen minutes in, we're done looking for key cards. We've already cleared hardware labs and crew quarters. Wow. Look crazy. Now it's just about finding where all the things are. That note gets us access to the greenhouse up above, which has a potential to spawn lots of really good loot together. We're looking for psychotronics and we're looking for deep storage at the moment. because We need to progress those two areas. That's guts. Not looking for you. All that probably has access to what we need. Ah, uh, yes. It 
should be by far slower. Cargo bay, okay. Let's check it. A lot of this is gonna wrap back on it on itself. Uh because there's not really many spots left Inspector. in the game. It's one thing about how the ship is randomized, is one area can't connect back to another area. So like because we just came from Arboretum, this up here can't be Arboretum. Like it, logically, and not even logically, it just it won't spawn that way. <clears throat> you can't have uh, double connections like that. Is this is going to life support. Okay. So we already know life support connects back to Arboretum. This probably connects the guts in some way as well. Yeah, so that's the Arboretum spawn. That's where deep storage usually is. could imagine this being Guts and then Guts is going to connect us to power plant and uh, deep storage. Lobby. Okay. This has to be an elevator spawn. So this is kind of meaningless. This will never come here. The only way this is worthwhile is if this is the top of the elevator, which it's not. Okay. So live support is just garbage. Ooh, really? Faster go this way. Okay, yeah, Guts holds the future. So Guts is going to connect us um, in some way to the top of the lobby elevator, Psychotronics. Power plant and deep storage. We're going through a lot of guts. Uh, ooh, I real well, okay, it's not gonna matter if it is. If you're going through guts for the first time and you spawn in the psycho psychotronics entrance, uh you hope to god you can get through it. <laughs> we can because we have a glue gun. But if you spawn there super early and you don't have a glue gun, um, the door is supposed to open with the randomizer settings, but currently it's like not working as intended. So you could soft lock here. You can also hack the keypad if you have the neuromods, but if it's super early on, you probably don't. Yeah, so this is exactly what I'm talking about, the, the psychotronics entrance. Oxygen 
We have glue, so we're fine. Uh, we'll see if the door opens anyways. I have 82 food. I don't really need more. It's always nice. But I'm not going to stop for one piece. So if you're going too fast and you slam into something, you can't take damage. And it can kill you. Shotgun shells, really, wow. Four, 18 of them? 14 of them? Some amount? <clears throat> yeah, so this door should unlock with these settings, otherwise you have to glue that fan. Also, getting par past this part of fact was annoying. That will shock you and stun you and kill you. We got another thing of shotgun shells? No. Nope. Hurry, Morgan. There won't be anything left to detonate if we're too late. Morgan, steady. That pulse hits your suit systems pretty hard. Okay, the good news is we should never have to come back th down this tunnel. Um, it came from the what I'm gonna do? Ahead. I'm going to help you stay alive. Nope. Just a little further. Michaela, this is Morgan. Find the top of the lobby elevator, and then we can just go from Arboretum to lobby and take that to Guts instead. Running diagnostics, nothing to show. I really want to see this being power plant or deep storage. I think. I don't know. I don't know what I want to see this is. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I want to see this is not the lobby elevator. Shuttle bay. Oh, right. Shuttle bay is a, a thing, too. <laughs> Forgot about shuttle bay. <clears throat> we really want to see the top of lobby... Elevator really close to psychotronics. Psychotronics is also a very important area Psychos later in the game. Oh, of course, this is the seed that has neuromods and luggage. And we're not going to get any of it. I don't need a hack okay. much of anything anymore. And I know that hacking one and four are both really cheap. Relatively speaking, uh, spending two for mobility two is really worthwhile. I should have done that forever ago. I just forgot about it. Hello, Morgan. My name is January. If you want to know what's Mobility going on, to let you first, run faster, it gives you more stamina, and you jump higher. It is really good. I'll transmit the location to your map. I mean, obviously, I'm if you're moving faster, you're going to go faster, time. but good luck. The jump height is you've left me really, no choice, really good. But that's probably a bad assumption. Morgan, Much like Lou, it can get you out of a lot of hesitate. situations. At all? Either that, or you're determined to ignore distractions. If I were to suffer irreparable system damage, I would be unable to interfere with your escape. There'd be nothing I'll to stop sure you from one. departing with your colleagues aboard Dahl's shuttle. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. If we can have um, the top of the lobby on the other end here, that would Sending be... Terrific. It's going to be top of the lobby. You can hear us, can't you? Yeah. Deep storage or I power plant. Something. Listen. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Board of Directors has caught wind of the situation here. I suppose it was inevitable despite my efforts. Oh, hello, Phantom. Leave me alone, Don't please. Don't worry, there's no trick. Just a gift from your big brother. 
It's the truth, like I promised. When I trashed your army and key, it was to keep you Once from again, that's, that's you always a hard spawn. It's always going to be there. Stop that. That's important to come here. Are you still in fabrication? I have a feeling you already know. Morgan, Dahl is breathing down my neck. I don't know how much longer. Shit. Excellent work. All that's left is integrating the data. Come on, lobby. Hey. Hey. Well, we also have to hope something actually spawns here. <clears throat> I don't know if it's been fixed yet. I don't think it has. I don't think it's been updated to have not an etheric spawn here. You have to decide, Morgan. Okay, it's okay. so, that's what, there's always some sort of typhon that's going to be blocking that's when you begin the elevator from working and you just have to kill it. Hiding the plan for your arming At least for a while, because like I don't know if it's been updated, but um, there's a chance I could spawn as like an etheric phantom or something and it wanted to actually spawn in so you couldn't kill it, which means the lobby elevator is just locked. But because Psychotronics is in such a bad spot in terms of Arboretum, uh, having to go all the way through Guts and then through Shuttle Bay, that's really nice to get to. It's also nice for Shuttle Bay, so that's really important. Okay, this ship laid out. Safety aboard Talos 1 is everyone's Okay, now we are looking for deep storage. Talos. We have what we need to do reactor, but we can't get past a certain door until we do deep storage. So we're going to have to go do deep storage, uh, get back into the ship, do cargo bay. In cargo bay, we'll make our way to reactor, fix up reactor, go to Arboretum, and start the coral quest line. And then we can do a doll, and then do all the fun stuff. Home, oh, I just got bopped. Oh, there's a telepath there. Okay. Three. Let me double check my math here. Twelve. Okay. How much was repair one? Should I check that too? Oh, repair one. Okay. Uh, I need to look at something then. No, we're good. We're good. So what I was checking there is I was seeing what uh, what spawned down in the bottom, whether it was a recycler or a fabricator, and whether if it was a fabricator, if it was online. Uh, one of the last things you do is craft a null wave device, and you need a fabricator for that. You need a working one. The problem, the one in Psychotronics, which you usually use is offline in this run, and I probably will not get the Neuromods to get Repair 1 to fix it. You can't use the fabricator in Arboretum, because it goes offline. But I can use the one in the lobby, in Morgan's office, along the way. The end of guts. Ah, oh, getting back here is gonna be a pain in the ass. One of these two spawns is gonna be deep storage. The other one's gonna be power plant. We're gonna be coming through here twice. Um, I think the far one has to be deep storage. Otherwise, this might soft lock. I'm gonna check this one because that one's a little bit longer of a check. An extra 10 seconds or something. Okay. Power plant. Yeah. Ooh. I think it's. I'm not sure. That might. Might be bad. Also, that is a nightmare right there. Uh, weird things happen when you put random enemies into 
zero gravity. Phantoms and Mimic go into stasis, so they just like go to sleep in Tipos. Nightmares just freak the fuck out and just do whatever they want. Usually attack you if they see you. A lot. Okay. I don't like Power Plant being there. I think it's fine. I think. But also, deep storage is like a terrible spot to be in. It's never a fun area. This is one of my least favorite it. sections of the game. It's dead. The Typhon is secure. Your job is to keep the We're here at 33 minutes. And we already have the key cards and the layout. Military firepower this for that. could end up being my I fastest seed if that doesn't softlock. The question is why? So we come in here to get access to the bottom. So we don't have the key cards. We might have the key card to get in there. Chances are I don't. Take care of the Norway device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. Cystoids are always going to break and explode by movement. I have more autonomy than so there's a, a ton operator. of them here. The contents of the video are sensitive. Any grenade or anything you throw is just going to blow them up and get them out of the way. I presume. Shutting down. I just wanted you to know that. Want them gone. Mainly because they're just annoying. Fixing up the place so we can go upstairs and use the terminals. Improvising. Hello. You should stand back. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien. Oh, threat. of course, it's a telepath. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, this area sucks. There's always an, an excess amount of enemies, and usually really dangerous enemies too. Uh, I just need to use the terminal and then go hide. Woo. So once you interact with that terminal, you use it to wait through a lot of dialogue before you can interact with the other one. I think I did the thing right. So I was hiding here, like a coward. Yeah. His tracking signature makes no sense, though. Might be one of those volunteers. You either you and your sit up there and try to kill everything, which a lot I do of not have supplies for. The Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but do you know how many try to just run around and survive, which is not a good option. Fix anything. Uh, we're just chilling here. Everything screwed up. I guess the least I can do is try to help you sweep up what's left. What are you doing? Are you recording this? Erroneous. His signatures Erroneous. left the crew quarters. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. No, you'll need to get to the main reactor control and Doing stuff in here, buddy. Off power to the station. If I recall, oh, yeah, it's, it's always scary. Right. The reactor should reboot not long after. Okay. Quick save. Because if you die, the game likes to put you back storage. before the dialogue starts, so you gotta Kayla. listen to it all again. I wondered how you would react to finding her. Whoop. Morgan. <laughs> So once you come in deep storage, there's a lockdown on the ship, and I just had nice. Uh, so you can't go back out the way you came. So you have to escape through the data vault, and then re-enter the ship through. The main lift is the fastest way to reach yeah, deep storage. Quick save. Uh, I'm sorry about Michaela. Through cargo bay. I wondered how you would react to finding her, Morgan. I love it. The the annoying thing about this quest line is that lockdown doesn't just lock you out of returning out of deep storage. It uh, it locks down some other areas as well, which I 
hope Power Plan is not one of them. I, th I don't think it is. I'm wondering what the spot is. I just know the other side of things is locked. Where that usually spawns from. We'll see. Uh, so, don't quite remember what cargo bay is in this map. The nice thing about this seed and trying to remember where to go is all roads lead to Arboretum, and in Arboretum, I just go to Guts and I'm good. Um, I didn't survive, but at least they tried to help. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar, Matt. Usually the confusing thing is finding your way between Lobby, Arboretum, and Guts, but these lobbies just like resolved itself completely. Uh, and Guts is pretty simple for the most part. The seed's really about Arboretum. It's super convenient. I don't have to sit here and think and remember stuff. They live on, Miss Illusion. They all do. Their skills, their talents, their achievements. Yet now, they can do so much more. Morgan, you did it. So you came all this way? No, not there. They would have been deleted. Morgan's not here yet. You must have... The cargo bay quest line doesn't matter at all. Um, with these settings, sometimes the door will be open, sometimes I have to go get the code from Sarah. You can hack uh, well, past the door. Uh, Chief Ilyushin, I guess nothing bars the way when it's someone you care about, huh? Buying hacking just for that. So there's probably just a lot of loot. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. I wish you could have witnessed this. But we are trapped. Plus, it makes me know. Uh, it is not open yet. Hell, Dad. He's hiding behind the chair. Also, some more loot. Not like I really need any at this point. No! Hey, no! Leave that alone. Believe me. 37, 36 shotgun shells. Okay. 96 shells. Um, so with NPCs in this game, if you just hit them with stun gun, they get unconscious. You can do for us in you cargo bay. Uh, picking up her transcribe gives you the code for this door. enjoying the taste of air. Never thought the antiseptic smell was random so random every time. You love me? I didn't come 134 shots. Sheesh. We just let them fend for themselves. Okay. So the door through that area is locked because of uh, going through deep storage. This goes straight to Arboretum. Okay, sweet. <clears throat> There's two ways I could go. I can just go straight in the guts and go down the psychotronics tunnel, which I'm going to do. It's not my favorite option. But we'll do it because it's faster. Could also just take the elevator and then run around psychotronics and then into shuttle bay. And the guts that away. As annoying as it is to go through here, it's much faster. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to come back this way too. Which coming back down this tunnel is even more annoying. Like if the psychotronics and um, 
deep storage spots here a swap, that would be so nice. Then it'd be worthwhile to go through that tunnel. The reason coming back down through this tunnel is so annoying is because of this electrical panel. Um, it's like impossible to deal with. Nothing to show. On the other side. I could go through the fan if I really wanted to, but you know, it's too slow. All right, really, really hoping this is not soft locked. I don't think it should be. I think only Casper would lock this. I don't know if that's been fixed. I think it might have. We'll see. Problem is, if this is locked, this is the only way into power point. Not power point. God damn it. I did that the other day. Power plant. And the only way to lift the axis is to restore a power plant. And it's green. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Power plant. Should just change the files to say PowerPoint instead. We've definitely reached the point in the seed where, it, unless I see something fancy on the grounds, like a shotgun and glue gun, I'm just not going to bother looting anything. I open this early because things can spawn in this hallway when you come back, like a nightmare or a telepath or just something you don't want to deal with. I'm trying to hit a button on the wall when that's happening is just awful. So this is the coolant chamber door. This is the only hard required key card you have to get. Morgan, forget the booster shots. The office is sealed. There's no other way past that. It's going to be a hard required every seed. And this is what we want the deep storage to get past. Otherwise, this would be uh, closed off. Inaccessible. Uh, that code's always the same, though. You can also hack it if you so desire, but the panel just doesn't work unless you go over. I already mentioned you don't take full damage if you like grab on the stuff. Uh, luckily, this is like just the right amount of height. Do not care. Cystoids are attracted to movement. Just throw some grenades in there. Reactor access door, which is another key card that we look for. It also found my father's records. You can't get through this maintenance hatch if you don't have the reactor access card. So that's not super important to get. Now, because we have to exit the same way we came in, reactor is one of the more interesting areas for a randomizer, depending on what you have coming into here. Uh, if you don't have mobility too, and you don't have glue gun, it's a, it's a real pain to climb back out. It's not too bad, now that I have a route, but uh, Mobility 2 lets us just climb the graph shaft and we're out. Blue gun at least gets you out of some trouble. Climb a couple things a little bit easier. Wait! Morgan! You need to get to the shuttle bay. Now, we have to go. Attention. Caution. Radioactive. This is why we try to find anti-rads if we can, because you always get radiated there, and being radiated is Gravity. really annoying. Okay. Transtar, the power to the ship is restored. Ready. Now we escape. So we have mobility too, so we just did it super easy. Fresh, crisp, clean sh movement to get out of here. Jump up here. Rewind. 
I guess if you wanted to buy repairing, I don't know what repair it takes to fix the graph shaft, but you could do that. Um, I think it's better just to climb out. My computer. Another video. Unless you're just stacked with neuromods and the repair is cheap. I don't want to alarm you, but has been a launch from the Argus platform. Then I could rest easy. Just in case no of trouble, idea. I'm gonna open no this. To tell it's not really important. Time, um, Go to hell, January. You speak with his. But if something like really bad spawns in here, that I don't want to deal with, or uh, the last seed or the one before that, there was a telepath stuff in, stuck in the graph shaft I couldn't get past. What? Morgan, you surprised the hell out of me. Sometimes. Take the exterior if. I don't see it anymore. It's too awful, but we're getting through. Woo, wee, woo. All right. Now go back to Arboretum and we start all the fun stuff. Everything from here to the end should be relatively fast. It's not going to be under an hour, unfortunately. It's going to be a little bit over, but this is by far my fastest seed with keycard rando. My current fastest is like a 126 or something like that. 136? Don't know. One of them. We. So once you have cyclescope and you've reactivated the reactor, uh, the coral quest line stuff comes into play. You need both because the reactor axis gets you the start of the quest, but you need the cyclescope for the actual chipset to scan the coral. You can, uh, potentially, if the seed works out that way, start the quest, get the chipset, and then find your psychoscope. Nothing to show. You're not a qualified technician. Uh, because I can't see that to glue it, I'm going to try to shock it with an EMP grenade to disable it momentarily. It actually worked the seed, cool. So there is, like, potential to the route in psychotronics later. Depending on the seed. Ah, uh, this was not one of those seeds. Before keycard rando, when we had to do the general access keycard quest, uh, you could kind of like route those two quests in together, depending on how things played out. Because hmm. both of them take you to the exterior of the ship, so you could like do both parts outside the ship at the same time. I might come back in the play at some point. Who knows? Alrighty. From here to the end, we're basically just bouncing between Arboretum and somewhere else. Which is why it's so nice to have easy access to Arboretum. I was afraid this might happen. Scan the coral. Goddamn coral. Okay, so we need hacking four. Sometimes this is open. It's usually not, though. Um, four. Where's four? Say you managed to insert human neurons into a typhoon. How will you know it was successful? While a man... First time installing a neuromod. Practice loss. Yeah, that's not true. When instead we can use those... Ah, uh, that's not true. Those skills. Depending on what you're doing when you install your first neuromod, you can skip the animation, uh, and then you'd have to sit through it the next time you install a neuromod, which is what happened. Just hacking in. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. At some point in this questline, you get access to the password. If you sit through the dialogue that you have to sit through anyways, you might honestly get it. I'm just impatient. Um, 
So you may not even ha need hacking for be completely on. I should really test that um, when you get it in Rando. I hid a copy of the plan on top of the data tower by the scary chair. Once things get to the top, I think they probably are. Now we have some cuts in the whole Your only question. option is to escape. Why? Get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1. A fun note about the like, oh. hacking. So I bought hacking for, for this computer, right? Uh, that does not get me access to things that need hacking 1, 2, or 3. You have to have Sorry. the appropriate level. So if it says hacking 2, Hacking three and hacking four do not work for it. You have to have hacking two. But if you're playing vanilla, is usually never an issue because you just go hacking one, two, three, four. Perhaps you blame me for what's happened. Theoretically, they could keep me reliving. You're gonna hack something two, and you have three. Will you have one and two as well? But at rando, it's not always the case. Because my big brother is paranoid. I have months that are just gone i've been listening to the logs uh, reading the research uh, playing catch up flesh uh, <sighs> and blood is messy morgan but it's the only thing that matters are not here clear. sky danielle Whenever There's supposed to be a ready? process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. I said no. That's not me. I, you, designed the test. There's always like this moment. Um, really, anytime I've like started the quest lines and I have all the key cards. Not what you're expecting. I like to try to route in Clean just the up. end game so I don't I'm have to think away. about it. And congratulations to my dear so our, our current route that we're going to take is we're going to grab this, to assist in go to the exterior, scan the, the coral, run back in, directors. upload this, and then we're going to go Commander to Dahl, lobby, on the other hand, has no take the elevator, rescuing anything uh, except the secrets aboard this or take the elevator down the lobby, it's like we planned, but you convinced me go in the shuttle bay we from there, no matter how ridiculous. Uh, or through psychotronics in the shuttle bay, so I don't know if I go through guts a whole bunch. It would be slightly faster, probably, but I'm lazy. We're locked out. Uh, You're all liabilities to the company. I'm about to deal now. with Casper in the shuttle. Something for you my desk shuttle. That help. Find Casper, which Christ. any spot he spawns Morgan, in, which he has like six spawns, we office. can get we to have pretty to get fast. Now. Hurry. Unstable. Uh, just through the lobby Is that access. A joke, operator. Grab the coral. Okay, Gen 1. Gen 1 allows you to fly faster. 2 gives you like a boost um, upwards, but we don't have propulsion, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Gen 1 actually does matter because it will just boost you faster. But once we do have Casper, no matter where he spawns, we just come back up to Arboretum, deal with Doll. Kill Doll, and then we go back down through the elevator. The psychotronics. Or stop in lobby, fabricate the null wave device. Go in the psychotronics from there. He invented the looking and then glass remember a bridge. Might which find is a way vanilla. to restore the server connections there. Danielle's so. cabin might be a good place to get started. Increasing then go back up to Arboretum through the elevator makes sense. and do that. Keep your eyes open when you get to the hardware labs. Your concerns have proven to be correct. But you already knew that. Slip and slide all over the station. Idea. Hell yeah. Dr. Igwe, this is the only course of action with... Scanning the coral can be a little dangerous success. depending on what spawns Those here. Bracelets are issued and removed if it's something in stasis storage. like a mimic or a phantom, which it is, it's really nice because then it's super safe. If it's like a telepath or operators, this part is really awful without a typhon lore. Not what you were expecting. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Fair, fair, fair. Got the coral scan. No, nothing that interferes with memory formation. Radiation levels are unsafe. Morgan, I have bad news. Space weather. The best spawn we can hope for with Casper activity. is going to be psychotronics. That is unlikely, Chief Illusion. It's an ingenious life cycle. 
The typhon attacking the station is the apex of its kind. The minor typhon organisms create the coral from the energy they harvest. Oh. Mindlessly, I suspect. That side of the lab was breached. Uh, vacuum, no gravity. Psychotronics or exterior, exterior would be really nice. Machine shop you could use to reach him. Hardware labs, the Naramad division would not be hard to get to. Because they're both on the lobby. Um, but if he's in psychotronics or exterior, then he's just all on the way to Arboretum already. So that's cool. <clears throat> There's not a lot of time. That's why it's important we act quickly, decisively. They'll try to take This is like the perfect Morgan. seed to try to explain stuff Sorry, on. Morgan. Somehow. But I have to lock you in this time. I sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. No you actually get like a couple more item spawns here whenever you come back. Of your life I don't know why it spawns more stuff there, but it does. Putting what they can do into us. Officer Falls. These windows well, open before the doors. I have an important request. So it's going to go out this way. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Now Doll's going to come talk. The Typhon will be back one day. Only next time we'll be helpless and ignorant because of what you're no, about to still do. Talking. This makes it very easy for me to do my job. There's it's a wonderful invention. If anyone else were forced to raise the issue of your catastrophic failure, it would be a sign of weakness. Uh, we could run All into an that. issue with the elevator Probably not working. Like, I think that's been fixed, but I'm not sure. We could also just have a nightmare in the elevator, which um, your brother won't be so lucky. I'm closing means we'll have to go through guts a lot more, which would slow things down significantly. Good luck, Morgan. I just regret. I won't be at your side to see it happen. I suspect you. Uh, well, we have propulsion one. Guts might have. I don't know. Honestly, running through here and then going through guts is not a huge difference in terms of. Time. We can pull up You're gonna run through a map pretty archive quick. Experiment logs. It will give us access to the main lift, the airlocks. The self-destruct protocol has two steps. First, the arming keys are used to prime the reactor in the power plant. Two-man rule, but you're on your own. Also, this wreckage from what looks like an operator here. It's a type I've never seen. Maybe it killed Eve? Or I hope you're on your way. They're halfway through the emergency locks. Oh, Anna, thank nope. you. You did it. Morgan? Morgan, can you hear me? I've reached Alex's escape pod. Hey, it's an etheric. No, no, no problem. We only have 160 shotgun shells. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder. Until now. Have a seat, Morgan. You might as well enjoy the view in your final moments. But that would make you... What? Do you know? Mm, no. That's an unpleasant thought. That makes sense. Better to go unheard and unseen. Okay, there's psychotronics and then shuttle bay, right? Yeah, okay. It's a bit annoying. But it works. It's annoying now, it's better later. Seems you do give a damn about your employees. Also, this door is your really father awful. would be disappointed. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit. Awaiting mission parameter. They're coming through here. How much was repair? Oh, repair one. Oh, I guess 21. Okay. Situation to them. This thing was like 10 or something. Your initiative. And I'm happy for you to come back with okay. me. Because I have so much ammo, I really should just shoot at the phantoms along the way. I don't need to kill them, but just damaging them will be enough. And come when I come back. If they're in the way. Back here! Are we going to pop the door or what? Sarah's the one you want to talk to. Jeez, it's so dangerous. So once again, just sliding the save on stamina.
I knew there was a telepath sitting to my left when I came out of that tunnel. So I had a little dip to the right in case it shot at me. Just playing it a little bit safe. Uh, is this top? Oh, that's the bottom. Okay. Do I have enough? There's a fun little trick you can do if you have remote manipulation. Which if I was on the top door, I want to go for this, but I want to show it off. Normally you have to run up to the top of the shuttle bay. Extend the jetway. But if you have remote manipulation, actually pull it out from down below. I'm sending you the password. This is your way in yet. You moved my chair without touching it. Gave me chills. The possibilities. Just one more to go. I knew you could handle this. Our father warned me not to stake so much of the company's future on your ideas. You never cease to impress me, Morgan. I'm coming out now. So this is going to give us the location of Casper, which we can replay this message. Uh, we can start it. Which will instantly tell us where it's going to be. It was supposed to report to him about her retreat. We go to Psychotronics. Woohoo! Where am I? Ideal location would be the station exterior, near the power grid. <sighs> okay, they didn't kill me, but it probably oh, should have. One. An order signed by your. Okay. Psychotronics or exterior? The two nice spawns for the seed. Well, exterior has two spawns I can have, so the three. Three of the six, I think. Your site would be in the hardware labs. It was supposed to report to him about retrieval after modding. Ideal site would be in the hardware labs. It was supposed I'm to report to him about retrieval after modding mm. up. Where, where am I? Ideal location would be the station exterior, near the power plant grids. Oh, here's another one. An order signed by your brother, oh, exactly. authorizing Transstar to cut out your brain and Hello. ship it back to the family. Ideal site would be the trauma center. Visual contact confirmed. Sierra and Delta. You must secure every piece of Cobalt clearance level technology. Oh my god, can you fuck off? It's gonna spawn me the stars. Psychotronics. We're dying animation so long. I'm hoping this puts me a little further, but it's probably the start. Yeah. Damn it. I was supposed to report to him about retrieval. Why does this area have to suck so much? <laughs> eh, it's really just the only worst thing in this seed. Like everything else has been really clean, real good. Retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Ideal location would be the station exterior. Yeah, I've gotten lucky with everything else. Like grids. literally everything else has been oh, fucking top tier luck. I can't Order complain about this. By your I can, and I will, but I can't. To cut out your brain and ship it back to the family. Ideal site would be the trauma center. Visual contact confirmed. Let's go around this. Sierra and Delta. This group of nerds. You must secure every piece of cobalt clearance level technology and research aboard Talos One. Then eliminate all transport personnel. Yes, bad news. You will be flying back with me. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. I know the feeling. So if you have a, a recycling grenade, you can just throw it on and they'll kill him in like one shot. Recycling. I'll deal with it. Um, Morgan. I did not get any of those this season. She's an asshole. The older version of you is a lot more interesting. I would like to introduce you at some point. For now, you should sit tight. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. Now, another way back is I could have taken the... Have to have my sister back so we can finish what we started. The exterior out of here. I think Psychotronics and Arboretum are kind of far away on the ship map. So the exterior is the only thing 
about ship connectivity is not randomized. So if you go to the exterior, it's always going to be the same. Um, as of now. Running dice. Gnostics. Nothing to show. Current conditions do not allow for safe interaction. Yeah, Psychotronics is usually under lobby, so it'd be kind of a far flight. You're still going to activate I, the self-destruct. Uh, it might be faster. Oh. That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. That's unfortunate. We'll have to improvise. The propulsion one, it probably was. I don't even think I, I don't know if I've opened it this seat. You can't fly back either. I don't think at the end you're allowed to use the exterior once the um, stuff is set in. Bird, sending you the code to a safe and direct to Kalstrup's office. This is another spot where a recycling, recycling grenade comes in real handy. Done with doll. Another Typhon! On your knees. So like Sarah in Cargo Bay, you can just stun Alex. Great. And, uh, get his stuff out of Thank you for what you... Another 30 shotgun shells. Sheesh. All right. We're going to go right back to where we were. Excuse me. Coming through. And we're going to make a drop by Morgan's office and lobby so we can fabricate. Keep on going. Yeah, this should, should be under an hour 20. Unless I do something real dumb here. Like forget where the bridge is, which I think is vanilla. Pretty sure on that. Nice work. The lift is responding again. It's okay. I can wait. Morgan, I believe there may be a way to bypass Alex's lockdown and get you access to the main lift and external airlocks. You're heading to Psychotronics? Also because this stuff comes in and kind of blocks off a lot of ways normally. You just don't need to go there anymore. Uh, for the randomizer, that stuff can't kill you. You can just pass right through it. They can do a little bit of damage here and there, but... Well, I guess it could if you're at super low health. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. If you have some means of escape, you may as well go. I wonder if you drop down and you interact with that. As you drop, I cared about died a long time ago. It seems. What would happen? I've never tried that. Like if the elevator was there and you drop down instead of trying to grab something, you just try to interact with the elevator. Good work. I don't know. So we got to run all the way through Psychotronics and then run all the way back, take the elevator, run down to Arboretum, run across Arboretum to Bridge, and then we're done. So this might even be under a 115, depending Good if idea. I get body to your equipment in working condition. Woo. Morgan, that satellite you fixed, I think we can use it to get that type of nightmare that's hunting you off your back. Are you here for an appointment? It appears you're a femur. Look at that food. Might actually need it. Something I probably should have bought because I didn't end up buying uh, the other hack and I didn't buy repair. 
Is regeneration one or two, which anytime you take damage, you regen some health. Uh, 10 health for region one, 25 health for region two. Really good stuff. Ooh, this is gonna be real sketchy. Yeah, okay. I don't quite have a way to deal with this at the moment. Uh, let me see one thing. Seven. Yeah, I got a bottle. Good that. idea. Keep your equipment in working condition. Goddamn. Morgan. Uh, I don't have any sly hippos either. Okay. I think we can use it to get them. That's fine. I have a nightmare that's hunting you off your back. Morgan, you with that funny? Hell yeah, buddy. It depends if I get bodied, whether it's 115 and now it's not. Cool. Isn't there a medical operator over here? I should have just let him heal me. Oh. I thought there was. Oh, yeah. I'm a Pyramid 490 medical class operator. All of my anatomy and procedure files. So he's going to heal my health and remove any status effects. Which we're not really running with many status effects. If we have radiation, I'll take that away. I can't really fight him. Oh my god, this is so awful. Just to get the cystoids out of the way. There's still cystoids. An <laughs> okay. Blast 3 is so good if you can afford the Psy. Because we don't typically get Psy hypos in this run. Uh, the best source of Psy. Uh, there's, a, there's a Typhon ability, I think, that gives you some over time. There's a chip set that does that. Uh, or Morgan some of the food will region five sigh for you. Has a private escape pod. Two medkits. Run away. That is correct, Dr. Igwe. I was intended to act autonomously for as long as possible to assist Morgan. There is no one else alive on the station who can pilot the shuttle. The Phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities. Only this one seems more powerful. Are you here for an appointment? All we have to do is go find the bridge, which, unless I've completely forgotten where bridge is, I believe it's the vanilla spawn. If you've heard me say vanilla spawn or this is vanilla, whatever, um, that just means it's not randomized at all. It's in its normal spot. Running diagnostics, nothing to show. Problems. Or if you ever hear someone say like French vanilla, it means it's basically in its normal spot, but there's like a small detail about it that's changed. Like maybe Psychotronic spawned where it normally does, but it's flipped. So you're coming in the opposite entrance, something like that. Ow, 
My legs. Okay. If bridge isn't here, then we got a problem. Not really, because there's not many places it could be. Which is a good thing. Because I know lobby's completely clear. I know guts is completely clear. So it's either here or it's in like life support. Which is accessible from here. I'm almost certain this is it. Also because of the quest line, we don't have gravity here anymore. Hello. I would be real upset if you killed me. That is the bridge. Cool. Yeah, this could have been a little faster if I didn't... And they're on all the psychotronics again. That's fine. Ready for your first real view of the world? Failed the 360. And that is how you beat Prey random. Seed seven quadrillion billion trillion. Whatever else the number is. Hell yeah. Yeah, by far my fastest seed with keycard rando. One of my fastest seeds even without keycard rando. What is a neuromod? My fastest before the ship connectivity stuff got updated, which drastically changes how the seed is played and time difference was like a 101 or a 103. I, I honestly don't know how much faster this seed could have been. Execution-wise, you could have cleaned it up, but in terms of, like, layout and stuff... Uh... I guess, yeah, having deep storage and the shuttle bay psychotronics thing swapped in guts... Which, nah, even that doesn't really matter. Yeah, just guts rearranged a little bit would have been a little faster, but ultimately not important. Ultimately it not a big it was deal. Dreaming. All Nothing I want mattered is to have my brother back so we can fit. Alex must be aware of what's going on. We need to talk to him. Reason with him. He's your brother. He'll listen to you. It's only a hunch. I had more time to study it. Morgan, don't listen to that guy. He's an asshole. Oh, the Wait, of you said a Morgan had got some medical to go. supplies Just for you. Tight. I would you like to introduce these? you at some point. But now, you should sit tight. Morgan, please. There's so much to lose. Morgan, Destroying please. the station, that should be the final option, not the first one. It was Catherine Yu's idea. Their mother and <gasps> Alex saw the advantages. Ready when you are, Morgan. We have the data to confirm what you suspected. I also found some food on the way up. Left it on the desk. There's got to be an override. You really need to organize your tools better. I would hate to see your living quarters. If not, then I'm glad I died before seeing my... It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. Well, I see. You have said everything. Yeah, the random voice voice her. There's I know something you else. need to get into deep storage. <gasps> I voice locked it, but I have the override that bypasses the random word input. <gasps> Morgan, <gasps> if you get back inside, please... <gasps> Fix this station. Not for science. Not for the future. Do it for the crew. Please. It's too late for me, but it may help you save others. He got away from you. Or did you let him go? I'll remain here in your office until you return, Morgan. I may be able to be of use. Exceptionally high. More importantly, our past. Welcome, okay. everyone. Yo, spin me around. Woohoo! Damn, look at those shoes. 
uh, you let belt buckle and everything. Exceptionally high. And yeah, what do you say? I say nothing. The tests, they changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. Go on, it's yours. I didn't know who you were anymore. We spent years trying to put what you can do. <sighs> nah, slumped over. 